Let's derive a utility function from an expenditure function. Here is a consumer's expenditure function showing the minimum expenditures necessary to achieve a given level of utility, U bar. And what we want to do is from this expenditure function is to derive the consumer's utility function. Step one is to get the compensated demands for good X and good Y. To get the compensated demand for good X, we can take the partial derivative of the expenditure function with respect to the price of good X. Doing that simplifies down to this. Let's get the compensated demand for good Y. Another partial derivative, but this time a partial derivative of the expenditure function with respect to the price of good Y. And we'll get this result right here. rewriting our compensated demands for good X and good Y. I'm going to do a substitution here, a little simplification. We're going to let P equal the price of good X divided by the price of good Y. And I'm going to make that substitution into uh, both compensated demand functions. So for the compensated demand for good X, uh, we have PY divided by PX, which is, which is just a reciprocal of P or 1 over P. So making that substitution into the compensated demand for good X, we get this result. And I'm just going to solve this now for P. And I'm also going to drop the compensated demand notation, the U bar, and I'm going to get rid of this uh, C here on the X term. So doing that gives us this result. And then just squaring both sides P equals utility divided by X squared. So here's our compensated demand for good Y. We're going to make that substitution where we noted that P equals the price of good X divided by the price of good Y. So making that substitution in here. And now we're going to make another substitution we found in the last slide. We saw that P equals utility divided by X squared. So I'm going to plug that U divided by X squared in here for P. Doing that. And simplifying, you'll notice we have U to the 1 half times U to the 1 half. That'll just be U. And then X squared here to the 1 half is just X. And now we're going to solve this for U utility equals x times y. So that was our goal, is to find the utility function from the expenditure function. Hope you found this video helpful.